Well, hello everybody. It is the 9th day of April, the 19th day of spring locally, and I thought we'd just take a quick look around the greenhouse aquaponics, see how it's doing. First off, you'll notice this black hose. This is a change. Now that the sun is shining over this part of the fish tank, I figured I would uh, try the whole passive solar heating thing. That's about the only way my pump could handle doing it, so that's what I'm doing. We'll see how that works out. It's my lemon balm. I don't think I've ever had leaves this big on my lemon balm before. This is blowing me away. Loving it. Got a little bit of discoloration going on there, which I suspect is uh, probably due to low iron levels. Still haven't thrown a chunk of metal into the sump tank to uh, naturally compensate for that. There's that sage of mine. I do love it. Although, like I say, I think some of those roots might have come out of the water level. Otherwise, I don't know why those plants are dying. Learned an interesting thing about kale so far. Kale is a biennial plant, apparently. And since it's now two years old, it's going to seed. But luckily for me, I planted new kale anyway. Not too worried about it. Looking a little wilty in here today, but it's already going on 40 degrees. Be there in no time. It's not even 10 o'clock yet. So, heh, better leave the door open. How about that pak choy? Look at that. Again, I'm looking on those leaves and thinking a little low on iron, but I'm going to see if I can find a picture of the 10th day of spring for the pak choy, throw up a comparison here. I'm pretty sure that's some massive growth. There's that cat mint I love so much. Oh, I do wish you could smell through YouTube. <laughs> that stuff is wonderful. Back here in the Folgers cans, we've got my good old Greek oregano. Nice strong survivor. It winters well in my system. I just water these with the Tupperware jug that's been around probably longer than I have. And sure enough, every spring it comes back for me. All summer long, my uh, tomato sauces are just that much better. Mm, fresh herbs. Nothing beats it. Next to it here, I've got my spearmint. You know, this is another very... Uh, got the leeks playing with me too. Here I've got my spearmint. This is another excellent variety of mint. Really enjoys the aquaponic garden. As you can see, that's some good solid growth already. Like I say, it's the 19th day of spring, so not bad. Here we've got the chocolate mint. Also looking lovely. You can barely even see the tag anymore. But this is also like three years old. I got all of these mints when I first went crazy on the aquaponics. We had some 11 varieties of mint at the time, I think. Speaking of which, the unknown mint, right? Lost the tag for it, so technically I don't know what it is. But I'm looking at these leaves, and I'm thinking that's English mint. If anybody really knows their mints, please let me know. But until I hear otherwise, I'm going with English mint. But look at that growth. That's crazy, because that was like at the top of the Folgers can a month ago. Time for some tea, I think. Got some tomatoes in here. They're not doing really well, but we are having some fairly cold nights, and they're tomatoes, right? They're sensitive. I tossed a bean in there, and it actually sprouted. So that's excellent. Haven't grown beans in my aquaponics before, so this should be very interesting. Down here I've got a parsley that I thought was dead, but apparently is a little more stubborn than I gave it credit for, so we'll see what happens with that. Dirty aquaponics. Soil in my aquaponics system. Oh no! And here we've got a little bit of that curry plant. I keep telling myself I'm going to throw this thing out, but it just keeps growing. And, and, and how can I do that? A little more aroma than flavor, but still, it's a very nice interesting smell to have in the greenhouse. Some kale seedlings that 
don't look like they're doing very well, but I just put them in yesterday, so I'm sure they'll be fine. The green onions. Green onions and aquaponics. Oh yeah. Gonna have to do a little trimming here though. That looks like the beginning of a seed bulb. But I saw one somewhere else too. Yeah, right there. So I'm gonna have to cut those off. Then in these little square pots here I have my leeks. These, uh, much like the ones in the gnome garden, are survivors from... Well, I think these things are probably a year and a half old now. Planted them, not this winter, just past, but the one before. And, you know, harvest as needed, and there always seems to still be leeks left over, so I haven't really planted any more of them yet. Got some in the gnome garden, some in the aquaponics, but these are looking fantastic. I'm very impressed with how well these are doing this spring. Gonna space them out a little bit, but not yet, because I am doing some uh, garden bed rearranging in the near future, and hoping to make some additional garden beds in the near future, so... There you go. It's a quick look at my aquaponic garden here in Canada. April 9th, 19th day of spring. Hope you've enjoyed it. Look at that pak choy. Well, thanks for stepping into the greenhouse. I hope you all have yourselves a fantastic day.